I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Mm. See you later. some more once you're done training. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Mm hmm. Undergarments. Sleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. I was taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? 
fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she is to become one of us. I'll see you below. We're so eager to practice. Strike. to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Ha! Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> a little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet?
Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. I'd rather not talk about it. Gotcha. So, time to hit the road? Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha! I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I smell it. Ghouls.
When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Bird skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? about this sorcerer I knew. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really the upset him too. Exactly this theory collapsed. Way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. <laughs> Radovitz pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Slower. We going? Help me! That was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I have a meager purse at the moment. Nilf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this. Here. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. 